afternoon all. Good afternoon. It is my very great pleasure to introduce you Mr Solomon O'B, who I had the pleasure of meeting for the first time a couple of weeks ago. And we've been speaking via social media for a little while. Solomon has very kindly agreed to be an ambassador for Tech. Thank you very much. She graces stages. West End bound, best friend found in a sibling who chauffeured her halfway to crazy when we were younger. My sister. She called me baby. My name is Solomon OB and I'm an ambassador for TACT, fostering and adoption. They made us feel very welcome by making us feel just completely normal, another part of the family. Um, so aside from the fact that our skin colour is different, you wouldn't have known that we weren't related through the way they treated us. It was just um, a very normal situation. So, As soon as I arrived through those airport doors, she came charging, screaming, hugged me with a force that you'd expect from a lady who had not seen me since 10 years before. My mother. One thing that was like always really consistent was they really kind of pushed us to do what we enjoyed. So whether it was like football for myself or like dancing and, and acting for my sister. Um, my brother was into a whole range of stuff when he was younger, but whatever it was that we were interested in, they always made sure we had what we needed to, to do it and really encouraged us to, to follow that passion really. So He held down swaying relationships at home, like anchors gripped to seabeds. He sped from Brighton to Bristol and back via London, picked me up when I was manned down behind the enemy lines of my mind. My brother. You're doing something really special. I feel like it's not everybody's willing to take on a child that isn't their own, and I understand that. Um, but the people that find that space in their home and in their hearts to do it, you're literally transforming a life um, and you can't put a price on that. Um, yeah, I think to have the, the openness and the willingness to, to bring someone into your family, knowing that there might be difficulties that are gonna arise, um, it takes a special type of person to do it and we need more of them, so. He sits across Christmas dinner tables for me and I wear his family name with pride. And with rosé red eyes, he tells me, I love your mother now more than the day we got married. And I believe him. 50 years together, a testament to the strength they're both possessing. My foster mother, my foster father. And yes, he calls my foster mother, my mother, but with no intent to disrespect my mother. I mean, what else? would you call your lover? The woman who raised these kids, she bathed these kids, takes them in like her own. Told them everything will be okay. Told them they could be anything they want to be one day. So what would you call her? Saint, angel, Magician for making ends meet when others may not have been able. Many names from which to choose, but I guess on this occasion, mother will do. Um, my foster parents mean everything to me. Um, like I said before, like they're a massive part of the reason that I'm here. Um, I don't know what would have ended up with me, my brother and sister, if we hadn't all been brought into the same home. Um, I really try and impress upon them that like anything we do is a result directly of like them and what they, they instilled in us and everything they gave to us. Um, so yeah, they, they mean everything to me. And so yes, we, my older brother, my younger sister, me, we are fostered. And when I say this, 
the lines on people's faces crumble up like discarded pages of paper laden with mistakes. But we are not mistakes on pages. We are simply awesome novels with unorthodox beginnings. So we are not mistakes on pages. We are simply a crooked introduction straightened out by proofreaders Pat and Vic whose love and guidance laid the foundations for straight lines for us to write the rest of our story on. We are not mistakes on pages. We are never mistakes on pages. You are never mistakes on pages. And so this Christmas past, I took your surname as a gift to you to show you now that I have learned how to give and to take. Victor Roy, Patricia Ann Brooker, I love you. Thank you.